Meanwhile, with everyone focused on the American hostages in Gaza, another American de detainee is rotting in Russia tonight. The 53-year-old Paul Whelan serving a 16-year sentence in a high-security Russian labor camp, former Marine, arrested back in 2018 on you know, bogus spying charges. Well, now his family says he's been the victim of a, a vicious attack. Another inmate apparently punched him in the face and punched him hard enough to break Whelan's glass. State Department says it checked in, confirmed Whelan's being treated, and again called for his release. But his family says they're worried, and they're worried he now has a target on his back. We're joined by Paul's twin brother tonight, David. Uh, Whelan joins us, so we thank you for being here. What would you add, David, to that, that what you've heard about Paul and what happened to him? And Well, it's pretty much what you said. I think, unfortunately, uh, the area that they work in, the, the labor camp, is a, a risky place to be. The workshop is full of sharp tools. Uh, the man who punched uh, Paul was holding a set of shears that they would use for cutting cloth. There are uh, what are essentially metal shivs for uh, cutting off uh, strings off of the clothing. And so, uh, and there are no guards. So it's a, it's a high risk uh, situation. And if the prison isn't able to get control of uh, this particular inmate okay. and uh, put off retaliation, then I think uh, Paul's in trouble. You'll go back to that point though, but why, uh, no guards? Uh, uh, why are there no guards? Uh, it's prison policy. Uh, they never enter the workshop floor, so it's mm. really uh, pr prisoners uh, governing themselves. And unfortunately, in this case, uh, one of them was able to strike Paul. So obviously, as I said a moment ago, you worry that you know, now he's got a target on his back. Um, what what could happen next year? What's your biggest worry in terms of have there been any adjustments that you know that have been made in, in, you know, in the way that he's being treated that might make it more at least safe for him for the time being until this is all resolved? No, uh, there hasn't been any change. He was once uh, struck by a guard at La Fordova in the first 18 months that he was in, uh, in Russian custody. Uh, so this isn't the first time he's been uh, 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 hit or struck by somebody uh, while in custody. Um, and I think the, the concern we have is that uh, as the Kremlin just ramps up anti-American uh, invective uh, and continues to show the Americans as the enemy of the Russian nation, mm -hmm. uh, Paul is, is an easy target because he's one of the few Americans in that camp and uh, is really defenseless. I wonder how much attention matters for your, your brother. We were talking about the hostages in Gaza, which have been getting, you know, understandably, again, so much attention. But even when it comes to Russia, Brittany Griner, the basketball player, got a lot of attention. Even Evan Gershkovich, the Wall Street Journal reporter, um, has gotten a lot of attention. The, your, your brother's story did, at first, get a lot of attention as well, but I would say maybe with all of, all of these things going on, it hasn't been lately. Does that matter? Uh, do you feel like you know he's been forgotten to some degree, and does it have any effect on things, do you think? I don't think so. I think there's compassion fatigue. Uh, this is, is almost five years. It'll be five years at the end of December, and it's hard right. to maintain uh, a new cycle over that many years. Uh, and we know that the uh, U.S. government has been working on Paul's case. I think, unfortunately, where we are right now is that uh, the U.S. government is mostly just words and not actions. And until they start to take an action uh, and try and persuade the Kremlin uh, and persuade them more uh, effectively than they have done so, uh, Paul will continue to be at risk in no, Russia. Right. To your point, the president has said, you know, he's not giving up on American prisoners, uh, Paul and others in Russia. But has your family heard directly from the government or from the White House more specifically? If so, when's the last time that there's been contact? We get regular updates. I think my sister talks with someone at uh, the National Security Council or at uh, the State Department probably on a weekly basis. But it's always just uh, we're working on it. We're working on it and never we, we've gotten a response from the Kremlin that Paul's coming home. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.